to the new foe for firefighters trying to prevent another explosion in Evendale. Only Nine on Your Side brought you video of the Bungie Grain Elevator exploding yesterday. Now firefighters are coping with the stifling heat. Yesterday we had so many units here that pretty much the county was exhausted trying to fight this. We're trying to take it in baby steps today and not exhaust the entire county of resources. Strong words. Two firefighters so far have needed medical attention. Chopper 9 shows you how large the building is, and crews have been inside all day climbing up and down. Exhausting work. Nine on your side reporter John Genovese is there. John, what are they doing to protect the firefighters? Well, Julia, those fire crews have packed up and gone home for the day to get some much needed rest, but they say emergencies in buildings like that silo is what truly puts their training to the test. Less than 24 hours after an explosion inside this Evendale grain elevator, fire crews returned to the silo in full force. It's a single pathway spiral staircase, very cramped, very tight, and very difficult for crews to maneuver. And in this high heat and humidity that we have, very little airflow within that stairwell. Requiring air tanks and extra gear that can weigh up to 100 pounds. Chief Michael Hawk tells us since the explosion, more than 100 firefighters from around 10 different agencies have turned out to help. When we rotate them out, it's just not out of the structure. Put them in their trucks and send them home. Before that happens, they work in shifts lasting up to an hour. With an ambulance stationed at the base of the structure, he says two firefighters required treatment with an IV. They incurred a little bit of heat exhaustion put them in the back of the ambulance and took care of them medically. But for most, the key is rest, hydration, and keeping cool. We actually have a, a mobile machine from Cincinnati Sub-Zero um, that was developed for the surgeons over in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan that's got cooling vests. Allowing three firefighters at a time to be suited in four degrees centigrade water, another tool chief says to keep those crews rested and ready to respond. Firefighters are, are in great shape, but you know what? This is an endurance event here. This is not a sprint. And if you're curious, the chief tells us that rain earlier tonight didn't really help them put out those last few hot spots, but he says now the majority of their work is done. They plan to return once more tomorrow morning to perform a final inspection. For now, reporting live, John Genovese 9 on your side. All right, John, we wanted to.